खेल और फिटनेस पर भारत के सबसे बड़े क्विज फिट इंडिया क्विज में आपका स्वागत है आज हम गुजरात में गुजरात अपने पारंपरिक कपड़ों एशियाई शेरों सफेद रेगिस्तान के लिए प्रसिद्ध है गुजरात में क्रिकेट बैडमिंटन फुटबॉल और टेबल टेनिस सबसे ज्यादा लोकप्रिय खेल है क्रिकेट में हार्दिक पंड्या जसप्रीत बुमराह और टेनिस में अंकिता रायना गुजरात के सबसे प्रसिद्ध वर्तमानीय खिलाड़ी है फिट इंडिया क्विज में आज गुजरात के चार विद्यालय एक दूसरे से कड़ा मुकाबला करेंगे तो बिना देर किए चलिए क्विज का रोमांचक दौर शुरू करते हैं वेलकम टू फिट इंडिया क्विज एज वी ब्रिंग टू यू द सेकेंड सेमीफाइनल ऑफ गुजरात एडिशन With a total cash price of 3.25 crore rupees, this Fit India quiz is brought to you by Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs and is supported by Ministry of Education. The Fit India quiz saw participation from 61,981 students from 16,702 schools. These 16,702 schools. are from 702 districts from of india this is the gujarat edition and it's time to welcome our teams greetings to everyone my name is sia and i'm from vadodara bright school my favorite sports personality is roger federer who is a tennis player and i spend a uh, a short span of time in my day uh, doing yoga as a initiative towards fitness Greetings to everyone. My name is Raj Shah. I am from Vadodara, from Bright Day School. My favorite sports persons are Virat Kohli and Cristiano Ronaldo. And I spend a small time of my day playing with my friends, physical games like cricket, football, etc., and also do some yoga for the fitness. Hello everyone. Myself Harshvardhan Prasad from Reliance Gish Medium School, Vadodara. Uh, my favorite sports personality is Sushil Kumar. He's a great wrestler. and uh, i spend almost 1 to 2 hours of my day in doing yoga and other activities like cricket as well hi everyone my name is kushti patel my uh, favorite sport person is neeraj chopra and uh, my routine for fitness is about 15 to 30 minutes cycling thank you hello everyone my name is nirmit shah from saint jebus primary school royal hall located in ahmedabad My favorite sport is cricket, and my favorite sports personality is MS Dhoni. I go to cricket coaching every day for two and a half hours for my to look after my fitness. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ashka Chaudhary from Saint Jeevas Primary School, Royal Hall, Ahmedabad. My favorite sports is badminton, and my favorite sports sports personality is Pv Sindhu. Cycling has become an initial part of my life due to the fitness. Hello everyone, Namaste. Myself Karan Verma and I am from B N C Patel English School, Anand. And my favorite sport is cricket and my favorite sports personality is Hardik Pandya. And I spend almost two hours of my day in cricket coaching to keep myself fit and keep myself healthy. So we have right fans of multiple sports person from all across the world. These were indeed wonderful introductions. Right, let us learn the rules of the first round. In the first round, that is called get, there will be four questions, right? And these would be in form of anagrams. We all know what anagrams are, right? Yeah, I'm in Gujarat, so I can say this, right? Uh, an anagram of Patel, P-E-T-E-L, is Patel, right? P-A-T-E-L, right? Yeah, so that's an anagram. So you have there will be jumbled letters, there will be jumbled words, and you need to unjumble them to make sense of them. All anagrams shown will be open to all teams on the buzzer. All of you have the buzzer in your hands, right? And we have checked, right? And it's working perfectly. The team that presses the buzzer first gets to the answer. Are we good? Yeah. So first team to press the buzzer, right, will get to the answer. What I'll do is I'll read out the question, and then I will be, and then I'll make a symbol that uh, I'll make a sign 
that your buzzers will go live now right i'll do this hand sign okay that means your buzzers are would be activated so you have to press them the correct answer would be worth 100 points and there will be no negative points at all right no negative points so even if you have the slightest clue the slightest hint right you must be brave and take a shot at this do not worry about like you know answering wrong right you may be just get 100 points are we good yes do we have any questions no questions at all fantastic this is a smart uh, cohort right question number one will appear on your screen get ready to bus teams question number one on your screens now identify this famous sports person your buzzers will go live now one team has buzzed and that is the bright day school bright day school can we have your answer please by lady jane king sorry can you yeah can you can you say it again by lady jane jane king and who is that actually i have no idea but just but took a try okay right i cannot award you points on that right it's not by lily right i think you are going for b i l e l i yes that's what you wanted to say yeah it's actually billy jean king right unfortunately cannot award you points on that one billy jean king the famous tennis star can we please have a look at the answer billy jean king right not by lily jean king i'm so sorry right yeah could not award you points for that the famous tennis star billy jean king is what we were looking for no points for everyone do not worry this was a good attempt yeah there are three more questions to go right everybody right just be sharp okay question number two on your screens now identify this famous sports person your buzzers will go live now. R A T S I A Y D K A W G A A. V and C Patel, right, uh, have gone for the jugular. Tell me the answer, please. Sitara Gaekwad. Sitara Gaekwad. Okay. And what does Sitara Gaekwad do? Let me find out. Let's find out if Sitara Gaekwad is the correct answer. Sarita Gaekwad. Unfortunately, it's not Sitara Gaekwad. It is Sarita Gaekwad. Yes. Good thinking, right? You did, you did unjumble them, right? And you made a name, right? So that's points for creative thinking, but no points otherwise. Yeah, it is Sarita Gaikwad, unfortunately. Well done. So we have had attempts on two questions, right? Let us find out if question number three would be fruitful to all teams or not. Question number three on your screens now. Identify this sports term used in boxing. Your buzzers will go live now. VNC Patel was quick to buzz again. VNC, can we have your answer, please? Knock out. Knocking out the answer and punching the answer out on this one. Let's see if knockout is the correct answer or not. Knockout is absolutely correct. Well done, right? An initial misstep, right? They covered it, right? By knocking out, knocking this one out of the park. Well done, boys, right? With that, you'll get 100 points. This was question number three. And now we come to question number four. The final question of this round on your screens now. Identify this famous sports person right your buzzers will go live now 
BNC Patel again quick on the buzzer. BNC, can we have your answer, please? Lajja Goswami. Lajja Goswami. Let us find out if Lajja Goswami is the correct answer or not. Can we have the answer, please? Lajja Goswami is absolutely correct. Yes. Right. The quiz is very very simple. Right. I need you to make educated, intelligent guesses. Right. The quiz. You know all the answer. It's just a matter of time. Lajja Goswami is absolutely correct. Those were your four questions and the end of our first round. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Okay, we have Saint Xavier's Primary School on zero, Reliance a school uh, English medium on zero, Bright Day School they made an attempt but could not get the correct answer also on zero. Right now, BNC English BNC Patel English School is currently perched on two hundred points. We have a lot many questions to go. Right, let us see if we can maximize or not. Fitness is a lifestyle and helps you in leading a healthy and prosperous life. Let's take a look at it. That was a wonderful video, right? Now it's time for our second round, which is titled "Set." Can we please have a look at the rules uh, of the second round, please? Okay, the second round is called "Set." Each team will be shown a set of six subjects on the screen. The teams have to choose a subject from a set shown, right? There will be various topics. Okay, there will be, say, movies, books on sports. We'll find out. Okay, teams can use any of the two available helplines once. This is the round where you can have a helpline, right? A helpline could be in two forms. One is you can show options, right? Or second, swap a question within the same subject, right? So if you have chosen movies, right, you have to get another question from the world of movies itself. Teams get. Hundred points on the direct answer, but fifty points on using the helpline, right? So if you take right support, that means your points would be docked into half, right? But you can get fifty points for sure, right? No negative points at all, right? And the best part about this round is each team will get a direct question once, okay? Yeah. So right here is your best opportunity to make hundred points or fifty points, right? Remember, you can use your helpline only once. Bright Day School, right? Sorry, selection of topics for Bright Day School is cricket, fitness, health, and nutrition, football, indoor sports, right? Mixed bag and multi sport events. Multi sport events is like events like Olympics, Asian Games, right, etc., etc. Where There is an event, and multiple sports can happen, right, at around same times or one after the other. Okay, yeah, right. So, are we good? Mixed bag is anything. Okay, so yes, right. Uh, Bright day school. Can we please uh, have your topic? We would like to talk about football. Football. Okay, right. Very very confident on that. Let's select football and let's see what do we have in store for football. Question for Bright Day School. Identify this World Cup winning captain. Can you have, have to answer. Yes, you can have options. That's what I was saying. That you can use a lifeline. You can use a helpline. Sorry, not lifeline. You can use a helpline if you'd like. Yeah, helpline. Can we please show them the options? Okay. A is Elaine Prost, B is Didier Deschamps, and C is Eric Cantona. Uh, B Didier Deschamps. Didier Deschamps, right? And that is your final answer. Yes. 
Okay, can we see if Didier Deschamps is the uh, is the correct answer or not? Is absolutely correct. Well done, Didier Deschamps is the correct answer. This will fetch you fifty points. Right, Pride Day School. Right, has opened its account with fifty points. Second question. Now we'll go to Reliance English Medium School. Right? Can we show topics for Reliance English Medium School? Yeah. Uh, you, we have cricket, fitness, health, and nutrition, football, indoor and traditional sports, mixed bag, or multi-sport events. So we would like to choose fitness, health, and nutrition. Fitness, health, and nutrition. Okay. Very well. Right. How apt to choose it at Fit India Quiz? Can we show them the question, please? In the term BMI associated with fitness, what does M stand for? Sir, M stands for mass, as in mass. body mass index. Body mass index. That's what you're saying. BMI is body mass index, and M stands for mass. Let us find out if mass is the correct answer or not. Is absolutely correct. Wonderfully well worked out. Yeah, this is body mass uh, index, and they win massive points, like hundred points for Reliance English Medium School, Punjab. Well done, right? So we have both the teams, right, opening their accounts. Saint Xavier's. Now the ball passes to you, right? Can we show topics for Saint Xavier's, please? Sir, we have we cricket. Will opt, we will opt for yeah. fitness, health, and nutrition. Fitness, health, and nutrition is also something that you'd go for. Okay, wonderful. Let us right check question for Saint Xavier Schools for fitness, health, and nutrition. Ooh, this children's toy has given its name to a kind of a fitness test. What is it called? Sir, yo-yo test. Okay, what is a yo-yo test? Sir, it's a kind of fitness test. Uh, in different levels are given. You have to pass with a break in between. Okay, I think you have taken the test. Let us find out if your your test is correct the uh, correct answer or not. Can we have the answer, please? Yo yo is absolutely correct. You were really really worried for the uh, for a moment, weren't you? Yeah, it is called yo yo, right? The toy is called yo yo, and the test is called the yo yo test. Wonderful, hundred points to you as well, right? So we have bright on fifty, reliance on hundred, Saint Xavier's on hundred as well. And now we come to B and C English School. Can we please show the topics? B and C Patel English School, please. Yep. We will go with cricket. Okay, right. Let us choose cricket for B and C Patel English School. Yeah. Can we please show a question for B and C Patel English School? Yeah. We have the question. Which political policy of segregation was the reason that South Africa was banned from international cricket for many many years? It is a question about cricket. Yeah. Sir, we want options. We'd like options. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Can we please show them the options? The options are A. Apartheid. B nationalism or C singularity. Sir, we would like to go for option A apartheid. Option A apartheid, right? Can we see if apartheid is the correct answer or not? Let us find out. It is indeed the correct answer, right? Well scored, fifty points, uh, right for you. Well done, right? Apartheid is what we are going for. Apartheid was the political policy of segregation. That was the reason South African cricket team, uh, South Africa, was banned from international cricket for many, many years. Right? Congratulations on that answer. Uh, and that was the end of our second round. Let's have a look at the points table again. The points table now looks a lot better than it looked in the first round. All the teams, right, have come into the four. Bright Day School made 50. Saint Xavier's Primary School is on 100. With them, Reliance English uh, Reliance School English Medium is also on 100, and B and C Patel 
maintaining their lead with 250 points. As we slip into our third and final round, we have an exciting and a holistic mobile application for you that makes staying fit and active very, very simple and easy. And guess what? It's absolutely free. The Fit India mobile app available on Play Store and Apple Store is the only app which allows you to measure your fitness score with fitness parameters based on each appropriate a fitness protocol approved by the WHO. Further, you have customized diet plans, step counter, sleep tracker, uh, and many more features which help keep a track of your daily habits. Let's know more about the Fit India mobile app. Life may challenges kabhi bhi aur kahi bhi aa sakte hain aur hum inka achche se tabhi saamna kar sakte hain jab hum tayyar hon inko face karne ke liye. हम अगर हेल्दी और फिट हैं, तो हमारी तैयारी और भी बेहतर हो जाती है बस जरूरत है थोड़ी सी मेहनत थोड़े से अनुशासन की प्रेजेंटिंग फिट इंडिया मोबाइल ऐप आपका फिटनेस गाइड और पर्सनल हेल्थ ट्रेनर पहली बार अब भारत का हर एक नागरिक अपना फिटनेस कोर पता करके जान पाएगा कि वो कितना फिट है आप अपनी आयु के अनुसार अपने फिटनेस स्कोर की जांच कर सकते हैं ये सुविधा खास आपके लिए पहली बार शुरू की जा रही है ये ऐप आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को ट्रैक कर सारा डेटा स्टोर करता है ताकि आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस देख सकें और फिट रहने के नए और आसान नुस्खे अपना पाएं। इस ऐप के साथ आप बन सकते हैं खुद के फिटनेस मास्टर उसके बाद हम आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को बनाने में आपकी मदद करेंगे फिटनेस की दुनिया में कदम रखें मोटिवेटेड रहें और अपडेटेड रहें और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि इन सारी सुविधाओं का लाभ आप पा सकते हैं एकदम फ्री बस अपने एंड्रॉइड और एप्पल डिवाइस पर हमारे ऐप का हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्जन डाउनलोड करें और शुरू हो जाइए आपका फिट रहने का सपना अब है एक क्लिक दूर फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज Okay, that was an exciting app, right? Let us all surely download the app. And now it's time for our third and final round, which has been titled as Go. Before we start the round, can we please have a look at the rules and regulations of the round? Yeah. The third and final round called Go has a total of six questions, six questions, which would be open to all the teams. All these teams, the six questions would be on buzzers and the team that presses the buzzer first will get a chance to answer. Teams have to answer immediately upon being asked by the quiz master. Delay or pause over three seconds will be treated as a non-answer. Unfortunately, the correct answer, right, is 50 points sorry each correct answer will get a team 50 points and a wrong answer or no answer will cost the team 50 points okay so the correct answer this is an opportunity for all the teams to make 300 points this is also an opportunity for all the teams to lose 300 points remember one of you will go into the finals right so play accordingly all the teams need to play out of their skin right to win this one right we all are stellar stellar teams here right it is anybody's game okay and now we begin the final prompt six questions the first of which would be on your screens now For which sport is the Indian sports person Muhammad Anas famous? Your buzzers will go live now. No team buzzing, right? Indian sports person Muhammad Anas is famous for which sport? Nobody is going for this one. No one. Okay, can we please have the answer? Sprinting. Running or athletics are also acceptable answers, right? Muhammad Danas is right, a renowned sprinter. That is what we were looking for, right? Teams playing safe on this one, 
completely fine. Five more questions to go, 250 points still to be gotten around, right? Yeah, VNC Patel is currently on 250, right? Bright and uh, Bright is on 50, Reliance on uh, on 100 and Saint Xavier's on 100. So I think there's a lot to play for. Five more questions to go. Let's have the question number two on your screens now. Which sporting family is the subject of the hit Hindi film, Dangal? Who is Dangal based on? Right, starring Sanya Malhotra, Amir Khan. Okay, which sporting family are we looking for? They have a common surname. They have been in news a lot, right? Yes, Reliance English Medium School, right? Is the first to buzz for this. Can we have the answer, please? Sir, the Fogart family is, uh, is, is the subject of the hit film Dangal. And what does Fogart family do? Both uh, Geeta Fogart and her sister are uh, great okay let us find if you have managed to wrestle out the correct answer or not can we look at the correct answer please Fogart is absolutely correct right Gita and Vinish Fogart right are the two sisters right that are wrestling champions absolutely correct let's look at question number three now Which sport forms the main focus of the popular Hindi film Apne? Apne was a recent Bollywood film starring Dharmendra, Sunny Deol, and Bobby Deol. Right, so the entire family got together into a film that's about a particular sport. Right, it's somewhat of an action drama film. Right, can we find out what sport was this? Only one team has buzzed, VNC Patel, English uh, school. Can we please have the answer? Boxing. Boxing is your answer. And have you watched this film? Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out if it is correct answer or not. Boxing is indeed the correct answer. VNC Patel, English medium school, right, making 50 important points. Three more questions to go in this. Okay, let's look at question number four. Which popular sport patented in 1875 by Major Walter Wingfield was known as Sphere, Sphere Stike? Sphere Stike. What popular sport? The sport is really popular all across the globe. It was patented in 1875 by Major Walter Wingfield, was known as Sperry Dyke. Only one going for it, Reliance, right? Making the brave attempt. Can we have the answer? Sir, the fam famous sport is hockey. Hockey. Right. Hockey was once called Sperry Stick. That's what you're saying. Yes. Ooh, Sperry Stick. Sperry Stick. So Sphere. Right. Let's see if it's the correct answer or not. It was lawn tennis, unfortunately. Lawn tennis. It was a good guess. It was a decent attempt. Unfortunately, not the correct one. It was an intelligent answer. I'll give you that. The second last question of this quiz right will be on your screens now pele was 17 when he first won the world cup true or false pele was only 17 years old when he won the first won the world cup for the first time true or false let us see if teams have buzzed or not vnc uh, patel english school Right, is ready to answer. Was the first team to buzz? Can we have your answer, please? Sorry. True, true. True. You are saying that Pele was only 17 when he won the World Cup for the first time. That 
according to you is true let us see if it is true or not can we have your answer please it is indeed true well done 50 points 50 points to you 50 important points right and the last and the final question of this quiz will appear on your screens now a standard 400 meter racetrack has eight lanes true or false your buzzers will go live now okay st xavier's was the team that buzzed on the final question can we have your answer please we said true true and you're saying there are eight lanes yes yes okay let's find out if it is correct answer or not can we have a look please it is indeed true the 400 meter racetrack has eight lanes and with that you will get 50 points well done st xavier school right and with that we come to the end of six questions and the third and the final round of the second semi-final of gujarat edition right let's have a look at final scoreboards bright day school is on 50 points right they gave a really good answer reliance school english medium made excellent attempts right and had are on 100 st xavier's primary school is on 150 right becoming the runners up for today's quiz right and the winners of today's quiz would be vnc patel english medium school with 350 points a clinical performance right and it gives me great pleasure to announce that the boys from vnc patel english school are the winners of this round of Fit India Quiz Gujarat edition. Congratulations Sarthak and Karan from VNC Patel English Medium School. Right, you will be moving to the state finals of Gujarat edition. And congratulations to everyone else as well. Right. Thank you so much. So that's it in this episode of Fit India Quiz. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Till then, keep Fit India. Mmm. -hmm.